Hi everyone, Ken here with Ken's Creations. Well, I've had a lot of people reaching out to me asking me if they should upgrade their Silhouette Cameo to the new edition that just came out. So I wanted to do a video comparing these two machines. I just bought the new Silhouette Cameo and did a review on how to update your firmware. You can watch that video right here. Now what I want to take a look at is, is it worth upgrading from the original Silhouette Cameo? So in this video, we're going to take a look at the body styles, see what comes new with the new Silhouette Cameo, and if it cuts or if it's any quieter. After we look at all that, we can take a look and see if it's really worth the upgrade to go to the new Silhouette Cameo. But first, let's take a look at what upgrades and the body styles are with the new Silhouette Cameo. Now when looking at the two Silhouette Cameos, you can see that they're about the same length. In fact, I measured them and they're exactly the same length. The new Silhouette Cameo is a little bit heavier than the original, only by a few ounces, and it wasn't enough for me to notice unless I had actually weighed them. Now, if we take a look at the front of the Cameos, the biggest noticeable difference is your displays. So in the original Silhouette Cameo, you had buttons to do all of your commands and you had a little display towards the top. You could also customize this by using the little template that was given to you in your free designs. On the new Silhouette Cameo, you now have a nice touch screen. The touch screen here is how you load your mat, unload your mat, and it also has some settings. Some nice features in here is you have a color scheme, so you can change the color of this. You have your light blue, you have a purple, and then you have a light gray. Some of the other features on here is a sleep mode and you have a built-in help icon. Now, I do love the touchscreen, however, I have noticed it sometimes is very touchy with the touch and sometimes it doesn't work. However, this is something Silhouette America can update with the firmware and hopefully they will to make this a little bit more user-friendly. So when we open the covers on the Cameo, not much there changed either. There's some noticeable differences though. If we look on the original Silhouette Cameo, you'll notice that the wheels here right here are a rubber wheel compared to the new Silhouette Cameo that has a nice steel roller which will make it a lot nicer to load materials. The other thing you're going to notice is the original Silhouette Cameo always had a guide mark right here but it was very hard to see and some people did not notice it at times. On the new Silhouette Cameo, they did an amazing job highlighting this with a nice teal blue to show you exactly where to load your mat. One other noticeable difference is some people might say is on the new Silhouette Cameo to adjust your blade is nice and built into the Cameo. Regarding on the original Silhouette Cameo, depending on which one you got, some of them had a built up piece here or some were laid into the machine. And it really depends if you got the first edition or second edition. Now let's go and take a look on the side of the machine and see what changes are there. So looking on the sides of the Cameos, you'll see on the original Silhouette Cameo, you had a spot for an SD card, you had a spot to plug into your computer, and you had a power cord. On the new Silhouette Cameo, your power button is actually over on this side. You have a USB port, you have a spot to plug into your computer, and you have your power. Now, one thing I have a question is with this new USB port, does that mean we'll have future Wi-Fi capabilities or will there be new features with this? This also gives you the feature to put your own designs on a USB stick and put them straight into the Cameo and cut right on this machine using the USB port, which is a nice feature. Now let's take a look at the back of the machine and see what changed back there. So looking in the back of the Cameos, you can see on the original Cameo, it's just the back of the machine where your mat would come out. One of the nice features on the new Silhouette Cameo is the addition of this cross cutter. So now when your vinyl comes out or heat transfer vinyl comes out of the back of the machine, you can actually swipe this across the machine to cut that off. So this was a huge, nice additional feature for a lot of people that use vinyl and heat transfer vinyl and a very welcome one at that. Now let's take a look at the last side to see what additions were made there. So looking at the Silhouette Cameos on the last side, you'll notice that on the original, there's not much going on over there. However, on the new Silhouette Cameo, they've added this little hidden door that opens up and you can actually store additional blades. Go and close that. And this would become very useful going to crops or places where you wanted to take another blade, but you didn't want to just leave it in a bag where it can get lost. Now you have a place to nice and easily store all of that. One thing I was hoping on the new Silhouette Cameo was a new blade, 
but upon looking it looks like the blade is exactly the same blade as what came in the original Silhouette Cameo. So the next thing I want to do is do some test cuts on both these machines and see if sound quality got better on the Silhouette Cameo or if cutting capability. The fact that we do not have a new blade, I'm assuming they're going to be about the same, but let's still take a closer look at that. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the original Silhouette Cameo. We're going to be cutting two designs and some fonts. And we're going to test to see how loud it is and cutting compared to the new one. So let's go ahead and start that cut. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and unload the mat and clean this up and we will then take a look to see what the new Silhouette Cameo can do. So here is the results using the original Silhouette Cameo. As always, got great cuts as I always have gotten on the Silhouette Cameo. Did great. Sound um, is still obviously loud on the original Silhouette Cameo, so I'm interested to see if that changes on the new Silhouette Cameo. Did a great job with the font down here and the intricacy up here. So I don't expect the cutting to be any different on the new Silhouette Cameo since it's using the same blade, but it will be interesting to see if the sound changes at all. So let's take a look at the new Silhouette Cameo and see how it cuts these same designs. So let's take a look at the new Silhouette Cameo. One thing off the bat that I do like right away is the new guide marks. They're very easy to see when putting your mat in. And then of course, you have your touch screen. It's a little bit quieter loading in. You also have now where you can browse your USB port where if you had some designs on USB, you could do that. Now also keep in mind down here is where your four alignment buttons are, where on the original Silhouette Cameo, those were actual buttons. So um, that's a little concerning just because those are really small and can be a little bit more temperamental when using. But let's go ahead and cut and see if the sound quality is any quieter and how the cuts turn out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and unload it and then we'll take a look at this here. Now, it did seem like it was a little bit quieter than the original Silhouette Cameo, but let's take a look at the cuts. And here are the results of the new Silhouette Cameo and how it cut. Surprisingly, it did not do much different than the original Silhouette Cameo since they are using the same blade, the same motor, everything's exactly the same. It looks like the cuts are pretty identical. And comparing to the actual speed, it did seem to cut a little slower than the original Silhouette Cameo and it was a little bit quieter when it was doing the initial cutting. However, when it was moving along the track, it did seem a little louder than the original Silhouette Cameo. So compared to the both of them, let's go ahead and go to my final thoughts on whether you should upgrade or not. So there's the quick differences between the new Silhouette Cameo and the original Silhouette Cameo and how they compare cutting to each other. So ultimately the decision is, if you currently have the Silhouette Cameo, should you upgrade to the new Silhouette Cameo? And ultimately, it comes down to the cosmetic features on the new Silhouette Cameo. If you want the new touchscreen display, if you want the new guide marks here, if you want the capability of keeping storage and USB ports and the cross cutter in the back, this is a great machine to go with. However, if you're looking for a machine that had some upgrades in the cutting, software, or blades, this did not come with this machine. 
and I would say to stick with your original Silhouette Cameo. If you're someone that's never bought a Silhouette Cameo, you will only be able to buy the new Silhouette Cameo as that's the only machine being featured at SilhouetteAmerica.com. So for those of you still on the fence deciding, I hope this video helped you decide whether the upgrade is worth it. If you're someone that likes the new best shiny thing, I would absolutely recommend getting the machine. However, just keep in mind there was no upgrades to the blade or the motor or any of the internal components. All right, make sure you guys are subscribing to my YouTube channel so you get all the updates on all the new machine, software, and everything coming to the crafting world. You can do that by subscribing now. Click here to subscribe. Make sure you're checking out my blog over at www.creativeken.com. Make sure you check me out on Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, pretty much anywhere on the internet you can find Ken. I would love for you to follow me. All right, I hope this video helped you decide whether you want to get the new Silhouette Cameo or just stick with the original one. Whatever machine you decide to go with, make sure go out there and make something magical. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have an amazing day.